How did I deal with the isolation? Um, we were quite lucky on the Gold Coast. We, we were still on the Gold Coast when the whole isolation thing was. And we were allowed to go out for exercise, so I could still do all my training. The pools were closed, but I did open water swim, so I didn't even miss out on, on swimming. Um, the only thing we could feel was that we didn't want to, the daycares were open, but we didn't want to put Ruby in there just to risk any sicknesses. So we had her at home the whole time and it was tough. Um, I mean, it was tough for us, but also for her because she was asking, she wanted to go to play with other kids and the playgrounds were closed. Uh, I never appreciated more playgrounds than now when they are back open. Yeah, this year with the COVID and the big unknown when there is next race, it's, it's been actually tough and I, it's been something I've never experienced before in my life because I love to be organized. Usually I plan my season almost a, a year ahead in advance. I, I have races which I have like big goals or races I want to go because I haven't been to that place or I love that race. And now basically since February I was just crossing all the races which were cancelled and, and all the plans went went to nowhere and at one point it was really actually difficult uh, for me to, to stay motivated or to stay calm. Um, I'm really happy that I had Brad, my husband, who is also coaching me and he kept me quite sane and quite, um, yeah, quite okay with, with the whole situation. What are my goals now? Um, like I said, 2020, it didn't happen to do the full Ironman because of the COVID situation. So now my goals are for 2021, uh, race my first full Ironman and hopefully do well and qualify for Kona. I guess that's, that's the new goals and keep being a, a mom and, and a wife. <laughs>